Hey guys, it's Leanna Pepperbottom here. I am at my new apartment that I share with a couple good looking hunks, so I can't complain. Um, I'm in the pool area right now, so since I'm not going to do a beach workout today, I thought I'd do a pool workout. There's a pool and a hot tub here, so I'm pretty pumped. Um, we're going to do more of a yoga style workout today. I've been running a lot, so I need to do some kind of strengthening within my body so we're gonna do some yoga but it will be still be intense so let's get started all right let's just bring our hands up over our head and then now we're gonna bow into it now we're gonna go into a chair pose so I want you to put, bring the arms up and then down just really feel this you want your toes almost off the ground and you're leaning into your back heel. Okay, let's move down. Put the arms on the front of the thigh. And then move down right on the shin, below the knees. All right, let's bring the arms up again. Now we're going to move into a twist. So I want you to go almost back into a chair pose. And try not to bring the knees over the toes. We're going to go down. And then we're going to bring the left elbow over the right knee. And just twist. Now I want you to open up. Now close it back. And now I'm going to bring this down a little bit. All right. So now when we're in that twist, we're twisting on the right knee. We're actually going to bring the left leg behind us. Now we're going to open up again. Now close. We're actually going to bring the knee up and back. Up and back. You're going to feel the right leg burning. That's a good thing. More of those. All right, now bring it back. Feel that stretch. Oops, excuse me. Now bring it up. Reach like this. Back into the pose. Now we're going to put the hands down. Bring the right leg back to me. And we're going to slowly lower down into an upward dog, feel that stretch, squeeze the glutes, all right now bring it into a downward dog, take a couple breaths here, all right step both feet forward, I'm just going to go up, all right, now we're going to cross to the other side. So let's move it into a chair. And now put the right elbow over the left. Feeling that twist, twisting from the obliques. Now why don't we open up? Almost like a balancing pose. Back of the twist. Twists are great. I ate a little bit of junk food during Thanksgiving. Even though I don't drink, junk food is still toxins in my body, so twisting helps get rid of that. All right, now we're going to bring the right foot back as far as comfortable. You want that stretch. Now why don't you open up? <laughs> All right, back down. And now we're going to bring the right leg up to meet, and then back. <laughs> All right, hold it there. All right, let's bring the hands down. Slowly lower, slow as you can. 
up into it. Up dog. Feel that stretch. Don't rush through it. All right, move it back into a down dog. Take a couple breaths here. Really feeling it in the calves so you can pedal your feet too. All right, let's meet at the top. All right, and then just open. Let's slowly grab right below the knee, push back. All right, now we're gonna put our hands down and we're gonna either walk the feet back or jump them back and lower, up dog. Sounds like an Izzy Boo barking. All right, now we're going to lift the right leg up. Feel that stretch opening up the hip. All right, now we're going to move it in between the hands. And what you want to do here, you want to have the heel lining up with the midfoot. So we're going to open up. You almost want it like you're thrusting. All right, we're going to put the arms out. Really lean into the front leg. Feeling the stretch. You can look over the front hand. Bring the right elbow to the right knee and then just reach up. And then reverse. We'll cartwheel the hands. And we're going to go almost into a lunge right here. I want you to bring your hands to the knee. Just feel the stretch. Feeling that. I'm going to try and straighten this leg out. So if it's down like this, just try and bring it up. All right, bring the hands to the ground. And now we're going to actually bring the left leg to the front. And we're just going to reach it up. I don't know if I'm getting a good view here. I'm going to hop that. Now, really work on bringing the nose close to the leg if possible. All right, now bring the left arm up. We're going to open up. Feeling that hip opener right there. Maybe you can slowly lift, oh, excuse me, lift the right arm off the ground. Touching. Good. All right. Slowly lower back down. Bring the feet to meet. I'm going to go up. Down. All right. Slowly lower. Up, down. Down. Okay. Now we're going to. Lift the left leg. Feeling that hip opener. All right, now bring the leg between the hands. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn the back foot out. We want that heel lined up with the mid foot. So take a minute to get adjusted. And then I don't want you like this. I want you to open up, push as forward as you can. And then lean into the left leg and the arms are going to want to do this just keep them straight up and keep them in check you can look over the left hand all right now we're going to reach forward opening up you can use that elbow to open up further against the knee all right now let's reverse cartwheel the hands and now what we're gonna do is go into that stretch again I can't wait till I make it big and I can have a camera crew so these videos can be a little bit better all right really if this starts to sink just try and push it up push into that back heel all right what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring the hands down 
we're gonna lift the leg up. Try and straighten the leg. If you can't, that's okay. Just straighten as much as you can. All right, now we're gonna open up. Right arm up. Just feeling that hip opener. And if you're starting to do this, just try and open up through the midsection. Can you slowly lift that other arm? Really opening up. It's a balancing one. Try your best. All right. Slowly lower down. Step the feet back. Lower. Down top. Take a couple breaths here. Let's around. the knees. We're going to work on one of my favorite oblique exercises. Yoga girls always look pretty slim right here, which is a good thing. That's because they're twisting their body. They're not just doing forward crunches, which after you do too many of those, you're not going to see any results. So try and change it up. You can do YouTube videos. You can go to classes if your fitness center offers classes. Those are literally the best way to see a change because you're doing something different every time, even if you do it twice a week. All right, so we're gonna bring our knees together. We're gonna bring the right foot out, and we're gonna bring the left. Actually, we're gonna just keep it like this. And we're gonna bring the arms up, almost into a gun. Bring them up, and I want you to focus on, instead of having the hips out like this, I want them forward, so it's like you're thrusting forward. <clears throat> and then, don't go like this. Keep the chin up. All right, we're gonna slowly go down. I just want you to reach as far as you can. And then slowly back up. This is a good one. It's testing your body in different ways. Even slower this time. Feeling that one. Let's try it one more time. Really reach those arms up. I'm definitely feeling that one. All right, let's switch legs. And if this is uncomfortable for you on your knees, just put a towel under there. All right, let's move the left leg out. Just get stable right here. You don't want to be wobbling around. If this is uncomfortable, you can kind of move your foot like that. That's fine. I like keeping it out like this. All right, now let's put our hands together like this. Raise them above the head. Slowly lean down as far as you're comfortable. And back up. Head back down. And up. I just started a new job, kind of serving at this smaller bar, which I like better than the big club scene, and man, do they have good food, so I have to practice my self-control, eat a lot before work, and bring snacks, because I've worked too hard to throw it away for some five seconds of good food. Yes, once in a while I enjoy, I'm a big sweet person, so I've definitely had some sweets the past couple days, but it's silly season. Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving. So you have to remember the average person gains seven to 10 pounds. You don't have to be average, you can be awesome. So just try and work out and eat healthy. It is simple, don't make it complicated. One more guys. All right, perfect. All right, now let's come back center. And we're gonna move into down dog again. And you can paddle the feet. All right, we're going to go into chaturangas. So what I want you to do is here in down dog, I want you to slowly hover, and we're just going to lower to the ground. Up dog. Don't touch your stomach to the ground. 
I'm gonna tilt the camera down a little bit. So we're in downtown. We're gonna lower, slowly hover, and up. You'll feel this one, it really tones the arms. Slowly hover, and up. You want the elbows really close to the ribs. Couple more, and down, slowly. Last one, let's do this a lot of control. Perfect. Step the feet forward. All right, bring the arms up. Now let's just let it hang for a moment. I love this one. Don't just always touch your toes. Make sure you switch it up, push back. To the shin. Arms down. Feel that one. Maybe bend the knees and slowly unbend. There we go. All right. Thanks, guys, for maneuvering with me today. Even if you're not that into yoga, it can really help the body if you don't like weight training in the gym you can definitely use your own body weight that's what i do i've seen big results but just remember you can work out all day but if your nutrition isn't on point you're not going to see changes i myself try and eat a high protein low carb diet i focus on lean meats fish nuts seeds fruits vegetables that can sound boring but you can make it exciting, trust me. All right, guys, I will see you soon. Adios from Pacific Beach, California. Bye-bye. Have a good one.